Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yeah, um, today I will show you how to uh, bridge GNS3 to any adapters. Okay. Let me show you. I'm having um, cable adapter, Wi-Fi adapter, and uh, two loopback adapter that I have just installed on my previous video yeah. and I will use software GNS3 to configure some routers uh, switch and some other okay. and I also want to link from my PC to GNS3 to link from my PC to GNS3 I need a bridging adapter so to bridge adapter we go to how to bridge adapter we go to gns3 vm on vmware workstation and go to right click on gns3 go to setting and by default gns3 will have only two adapters Okay, uh, adapter zero, adapter one, and you can add one more adapter. Okay, network adapter. Finish. This network adapter by default, after we add it, it's come to NAT. But we don't want to use NAT, we want to use lowback adapter one or two. I will use loopback one for adapter three. So I choose VM net four. My VM net four, uh, I have point to loopback one. Please refer to my previous video that I have installed um, loopback adapter, and I bridge my VMware from loopback adapter to vmnet4 so I use vmnet4 and I click OK ok um, yeah, let me open GNS3 software please wait it's also opening the GNS3 VM. Actually, um, if you are using GNS3 VM, is much more better than um, uh, using just standalone GNS3 because if you use GNS3 with GNS3 VM you can have more tools more options you can have uh, uh, after you install some operating system here like uh, Windows, Linux then you can uh, link this uh, virtual machine to your GNS3 software. Okay. That is the uh, benefit of using GNS3 linked to GNS3 VM. Okay. Okay. Let me start with the new project. Let me call testing one. Okay. Testing one. Um. Let me try to add router to. Um, this screen and I add this cloud to the screen then I um, uh, after you add in the cloud they will ask would you like to link the cloud to your uh, real computer or your GNS3 VM I prefer GNS3 VM okay. after you select GNS3 VM then I want to click Sorry, I want to connect um, from router 1 to cloud. G0 slash 0 
to Ether2. Ether2 is the uh, loopback adapter that we just uh, 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 add just now. Okay. So um, I will add the IP interface on. Let me show adapter. I will add IP address on G0 slash 0 and I will try to ping from my PC to G0 slash 0. So let me turn on the router. I go to console. Enable and I go to config T INT G0 slash 0 IP address 192.168. Dot let's say it's um 11. Dot what slash 24. No shutdown. Then um, I will ping from my PC to 11.1. Okay. Actually, there is no IP address, and uh, I don't have any adapters connected to networks. That's why I seen the message here. Okay. If I connected at least one network, it will be showing some other message. So I add adapter loop back to the, the same network of the router eleven dot eleven slash twenty four. Okay. Just wait and see. Yeah. Now we can use our PC to link to the router on GNS3. Take some time. So we, yeah, yeah. This is how we use the loopback adapter, and this is how the benefit of using bridging adapter in VMware workstation. Okay, yeah. That's what I want to show you. And if you have any doubt please let me know yeah thank you